Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Tanaka with a WBZ News update. Former Red Sox pitcher Austin Maddox is under arrest after being busted in a child sex crime sting in Florida. Police say he was seen on video going to meet whom he thought was a 14 year old girl for sex last month. Instead, it was an undercover sheriff's agent. Maddox was one of 27 people arrested in the sting. His attorney says he'll fight the charges. A new round of closures and disruptions for T-Riders. It includes a large portion of the Orange Line for a total of 21 days in May and June. The Red Line and commuter rail are also impacted. MBTA is racing to meet its goal of eliminating all of these slow zones by the end of the year. Well, voters in Ipswich go to the polls today to decide the fate of a historic dam. The original Ipswich Mills Dam was built nearly 400 years ago, but it's been decommissioned since the 1930s. Now, those who want to remove the dam say it's obsolete and the town would no longer need to maintain it. Opponents say the bridge is part of the town's history and really doesn't need that much upkeep. All right, time now for a check of a steamy next weather forecast. Here's Jason. Oh, let's get it going on this Tuesday, Chris. As we were talking about very warm weather, it's going to be moving up the I-95 corridor. Two systems are going to be working in tandem, allowing for very warm conditions to move back in. Some early morning fog is beginning to lift, and we are allowing our temperatures to climb into the upper 50s right now, eventually landing amongst the 80s here. So patchy areas of fog again this morning. As the fog is lifting around out here, we get a little bit of mixing in the mid and upper levels. So again, heading into the afternoon, Prepare yourselves for this. Heat index values are going to be racing into the 80s and points north and west, certainly north of the Mass Pike, will likely be in the mid to upper 80s, near 90 degrees for some later this afternoon. And it'll also feel like it. A little bit cooler along the south shore of the Cape and even the islands. While we're dealing with that, severe storms are going to be expecting across the nation's heartland. Again, mainly going to be in the Iowa region. A four out of five. That is sort of, again, from the Storm Prediction Center, where some long track uh, storms are going to be ha happening there along with the threat for tornadoes as well. Meanwhile, we're still going to be dealing with heat for us tomorrow. Sunny conditions, hot and humid expected on Thursday. The linchpin to our cooler weather is going to be coming in the form of a cold front that will ignite some storms for us Thursday evening. Much more comfortable conditions for Friday, Saturday, and even on Sunday as we get back into the 70s, still with the 50s in the overnight, with more showers expected to return again, unfortunately, on Monday afternoon for Memorial Day. All right, Jason. Well, this has been a WBZ News Update. I'm Chris Tanaka. Have a great day.